We're going to move into the next one, styles. Now, for styles, there are a few things we just need to know, right? There are a few things we just need to know for styles. And I'm going to explain that right now. Now, the first thing we look at styles is what's a corporate house style? Because the foundation of document production is styles. The foundation of document production is styles. And the whole idea of corporate house styles, and I want you to probably write this down or pen this down in your notepad, your notes, whichever device you're using to pen down this thing or just listen, right? Now, what is a corporate house? So let's start with the fact, what's the corporate house style? Now, a corporate house style refers to the consistent use of particular word, visual design element. I'm going to iterate that again, okay? A corporate house style refers to the consistent use of particular visual design element across a document, across a document, okay? Across what? A document, okay? Now, those design elements may include the following. Fonts, colors, logo, layout styles, right? Now, we've talked about what a, a corporate house style is. It refers to the consistent use of what? A particular word, visual design to a document, across a document. And why this is it, there's what we call corporate branding. Take, for instance, um, Agile Tech, right? We have a corporate branding usually some of our designs in which is purple, right? You see that's purple, right? And we, you have the, the text in which we, we put it. We have a text in which we place um when we're sending our reports, okay? When we're, send, when we're sending out reports, okay? So this is also, this could be letterheads or even business word cards, okay? So this is very, very important. Again, corporate house style refers to what? The consistent use of a particular word, visual design, across what? A document. What's the purpose of, of a corporate house style? What's the purpose? To make sure that all documents and all materials from organization have consistency. Every design we do from a general tech, there's that level of consistency. That level of consistency, okay? They say, oh, this is a general tech. This is, this is a general tech, this is a general tech, right? So that, there's that level of, so, Across documents to make sure that all documents and all materials from an organization have what consistency. It is also used to save time in planning. Okay, planning saves time in setting up, creating. So if I set up my title, if I set up my body, that I'm, I'm going to use it across. I don't have to. Um, I I I don't have to keep applying the same formatting features over and over again. Okay, so this is important. Okay, it also reduces the risk of errors. Okay, it also reduces the risk of errors. So, for example, I have H1, I have P, I have table, and let's say these are all the things I want to define to this style. Okay, so it is very important that we know that. You're talk, talking about font, and I will show you a good example of this. Good. So, I have example one here, but I'm just going to use example three to just make my whole point. So this is a good example of what we talk about. The this is a good example of when we create and store and apply the following paragraph styles. So I have my heading, okay? So please take note of this. This is the structure for it. So we have heading, subheading. In fact, we have title. Let's start with it. We have title, subtitle. Please write it down. Title, subtitle, heading, okay? Um, we have body. We have um, list, okay, we have list, we have table. We are not. We, we are also not exempting headers and footers, although I've not seen it in any past paper, but it's possible you might be asked to do it. It's possible you might be asked to do it, okay, headers and footers. So now the next thing is we look at font styles, and I'm seeing sans serif and serif. And at default, if you're, if you're not being taught what a sans serif is, I want to save is, you start searching for save, you start searching for, for sans serif. And I'm like, most, most people do that. In my first class, and they look at the, they're doing the past paper, they just start, start, start searching for save. And no, 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 you don't need to do that. Because it's not really a font. It's not really a font. And this is why it's not really a font. Now, text can be changed to have different font faces. 
colors and sizes. There are two main type of font face, the serif font and the sans serif font. Please take note. A serif font looks like this. You have little ticks, okay, on the edge, edge of each of the letters. They have little ticks or little strokes, okay? So you need to take note of that. They have little ticks at the end of each of the letters. So that is for the serif. For the sans serif, they have straight edges. Okay, they have straight edges. So this is very, very important that you need to know that. They have straight edges. So again, the word serif describes what? Short stroke at the end of what? An individual word later. Okay, so now you've seen it. And sans serif fonts do not have these strokes. So if you're asked to set text in a sans serif font, you must find any font in your word processor that does not have these serif strokes. Okay, so I'm just going to put it down for you. That the following are the types of serif fonts. Okay, the following are the types of serif fonts. Number one, Times New Roman. For the sans serif, we have ARIA, Times New Roman. Okay, Times New Roman. And for the sans serif, we have ARIA. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so a good example of this font is for serif, is Times New Roman. For sans serif, is what? ARIA. So please take note of that. Okay. The next thing we want to talk about is font size. When we talk about font size, we're talking about how we can increase them. And please take note, font size are measured in points. Okay? Font size are measured in points. Okay? The font face we've talked about, we have save and sans save. A good example for yourself is Times New Roman. For your, for your sans save is area. For your safe is times new Roman, and for your sans safe is what area. Create, modify, update, and apply consistent style. So there, there are times where we have to create them, and this is a good this is a good blueprint. So we've talked about the font styles. I'm going back to this. The font size is in point. Okay. Then we have the alignment. We have four types of alignment. We have left, right, center, and justified. And we can also indent them. Yes, you can also indent them. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's say, for example, we have this. Something we've been working on. Okay, so I'm just going to toggle the feed code, close, and do my magic, right? So here I want to create this. Um, right here, I want to create my styles. Okay, I have so many of them here. Okay, I want to create one, right? Um, where is my code? Please, where the cursor is is important because... If you change the styles, right, it's going to affect the whole work. So you want to be careful, probably start from a blank paragraph. So let's say I want to create a new styles. So I have this, right? So um, my alignment, yes, add me to the main session. Okay, so my alignment is, go, um, alignment can be here, um, paragraph, and then, I can indent it to probably, we use, we usually do this for listing, blended list. So we can actually indent it to probably like maybe um 1.5 centimeters from the left margin. So right here in on that indentation, I can actually do this, right? And now it shows you a preview. Okay, it shows you a preview. And we have special ones like first line, this first line, although we don't specify anyone, but this is first line. It simply means that this is going to be indented first and the rest is going to be the same. Then we have hanging. Hanging means the um exception of the first line, other um in the paragraph apart from the first line is going to be dented. Okay, so you need to know the difference between first line and hanging. All this information. That's why I'm happy this class is recorded, so you can just go through it over and over again. All right, enhancement. Right, we'll talk about enhancement. We're talking about this, so it's going to be bold, italics, underline. Okay, and also font. It can be all caps. It can be single strikes, double stripes, superscript, subscript, small caps, right? Small cap means lowercase. All cap means uppercase, literally. 
right? Literally. Okay. Mm. Line spacing. We have single line spacing, 1.5 and double line spacing. Okay. I know most of you like Sergio. Okay. So here on the line spacing, we have single line spacing, 1.5 and we have double. Space before and after is in points. So you can make it to be zero. You can make it not to be zero. Okay. Okay. So we have the single line spacing to be single and space before and after. You can also adjust that as well. Okay. I feel um, pretty much everything here. So we've talked about this, how you can make it um, after. So you can manually um, impute the values to it. Okay. Manually impute the values to it. Okay. Um, what else? Using Format Painter. Now, the whole idea of Format Painter is to copy those formatting features to a new one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have this, right? Um, I have, okay, let's say I have, let's say I made this red, right? The text to be no, purple. Let's use a Java text color, right? So we have purple. Okay, um, clearly it's not here. Okay, I think we have something here. So let's work, yeah, we have something like this. Let's work with this, right? So now what, and I'm going to boot this and make it italics, okay? So what the Format Painter does is this. I'm going to highlight this and then click on the Format Painter. Now, I've copied it. I've copied that feature. Now, if I come here and do, okay, um, I have this right here. So I want to highlight this. I'm just going to highlight this. Watch what happens. See? So you're going to automatically, the whole idea of Format Painter is to copy the formatting features of what you have into a new paragraph. And it's going to copy everything. It's going to, it's going to place everything, including um, what uh, what alignment, um, what uh, enhancement is going to copy everything. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, bullet and number list. Again, uh, we could have a list here. Okay, let's say we have um, name of students. Okay, so we want to put this in the list. So um, I have a booby. I have um a lot of poor. Okay, a lot of poor. I have Laulu, right? So I want to put this in the list, right? To put it in the list, I have here coming over my paragraph, and then I can just put this. Okay, what happened? Okay, why is everything moving? Okay, um let me do this, right? And let's see what's happening. Why is everything moving? So I have this. Okay, so I have this right here. So the whole idea for this is now I have my list here and I have my list here. Now, most time you might be asked to change the way it looks, probably to something like this or something like this or something like this, right? And probably to just put it in numbers, right? So you have this in numbers and that's fine. So most time you might be asked to change the alignment, right? Change the alignment from where it is. So you do this in paragraph, I have the, so I just want to make it like maybe one centimeters. So I'm going to indent it by one centimeters. So now I have it in one centimeter. And if you use the grid line, if you use the grid line, you can see that we're having this. Okay. Okay. So we have this. Now to do this, this simply means that it's a single line spacing with no space before and after the paragraph. So to do this, so I have this. So I have uh, no space before and after, and this is going to be single line spacing. And there we have it, single line. Okay. Um, we've done this as well. Uh, again, this is very, very important because this, you're gonna have your style name. This is your style name. And of course, um, the font styles you wanna use. So all these are very, very important, okay? All right, so something like this. Again, it has to be with the default paragraph style, which is what? Normal. So default paragraph style is going to be based on normal. Okay, so take note of that. So yes, we are done with this. Okay, so it's important. Now, how do you take a screenshot? One final thing. 
they say do not create a screenshot with the mouse hovering over over a style in the style window. Why this show much of the style division? It does not sh show the font face you've selected. So they say do not hover. Okay, do not hover. Do uh don't with the, with the mouse hover over the styles. So don't do this. Okay. So again, how do we do that to actually modify it? I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to click on modify. Okay, modify. And now you can take a screenshot. Now, again, if yours is like this, don't panic. You can just drag it here, um, cut it off, drag it here, cut it off. You're just playing with it, right? So that is done.